This is the lock picking newbie, and today is Ladder Lock Tuesday again. And last Ladder Lock Tuesday, we had a debacle with this uh, Pack Lock PL410 Pro. And um, hey, we might have another debacle with it today, but let's find out. Okay. Um, Oh my gosh, who was it? Um, one of the Aussie pickers, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, notes for the video here. Um, one of the Aussie pickers uh, actually picked one of these right after my ridiculous video. Um, he posted a video of him picking the same lock uh, literally backwards in the core. And it was so hilarious. Um, I tried to do it myself, and sure enough, I did get the lock open uh, by picking it backwards, which is really cool. But today, I'm going to try to pick it uh, frontwards, and it doesn't help that I just launched the uh, tensioner across the room. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I've got now a skinny tensioner. Uh, along with, I'm going to start with this number one in tw 25 thousandths. So let's just get right to picking. All right, so one feels loose. I have been practicing. All right, a little bit of movement on two. Little click on three. Nothing on four. And now we're back to five where it's hard to reach. So I'm going to switch to a number seven hook. Go to the back. Can get a little bit on seven, I think now. Seven's loose, six is loose, but here's five. Little click on five, little click on six, little click on seven. Now I can't really tell <clears throat> because of this tension wrench, I can't really tell if uh, if I've got a false set here. One still feels kind of springy. Not much on two. Now three needs to need some clicks here. So I got one click on three. Four sort of up in the QA, but that's kind of where it's supposed to be. Five needs to go some more. I think I might have dropped it a little bit. Easing tension and a little click on five. Six is down uh, in the uh, chamber. Seven is up, so let's get that a little bit. Come back to the front. One, yeah, one wasn't quite ready to go yet. Two, I might have just overset. And let's ease tension, see what we can get out of three. Just dropped, hopefully just dropped two a little bit. Okay, got a little something out of three. Back to the front. One is still springy. Two is springy now, three feels good. Four feels about where it needs to be. Five needs a click, I think. A little click there. Six feels okay. Seven needs a click. All right, not much chit chat. <laughs> Well, I picked this because this guy is hard. This guy is really difficult. And in the previous video, I actually got a comment from Packlock, so thanks for that. Um, and somebody thought they were taught throwing shade, but I don't know, whatever. I don't think they were throwing shade. All right, we're in the phase now where I think I have overset something, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to manually counter-rotate. I just dropped something. I'm going to do one more. OK. Let's see what we feel like here. Because what I found is if I get 
the lock into a certain state, then six and seven will set, and I can get it almost into a false set. That was five, and that didn't feel good. Six is springy, seven spring. <clears throat> And then it's not really exactly a false set, but it's a state where I know all I need to do is get one. It's kind of like a false set. I get some movement in the core. All right, I did some manual counter rotation again. All right, now I'm at the point where five needs to be set. If you have a really sharp eye, you can see that I'm digging a gouge in the plastic body where my pick is. Ooh. All right, I'm not sure. That might have been too far on six. I gotta ease tension a lot more. Okay, seven feels okay now, but six feels like it's up a little bit too high. So let me try to get one more little bitty click out of six. Come on, six. All right, six, seven, five does not feel right. Five might be overset. Two feels okay. Three's too far up. As you can tell, I've grown familiar with this lock. Okay. One might, whoops. Well, I was about to say one might be ready, but that was not a good click out of one just there. Oh! Ta-da! Well, my friends, uh, I hope that was in focus. <laughs> because we're open. Well, there you go. I'm going to call that Vindication for Lockpicking Newbie uh, on another Lotto Lock Tuesday or Tag Out Tuesday, as LPN Jr. likes to call it. Hope everyone is well. And uh, that is all I have for you today. This is the Lockpicking Newbie. Have a good day.